Mr. Bobbin. I'll never win a prize with this marrow. I'll never win a prize with that marrow, said Harry Dabble. It's too little and tiny and small and puny. I know that, said Mr. Bobbin, but I've tried everything. Oh, said Mr. Dabble. It's obvious to me that you haven't tried my super duper double deluxe giant marrow fertilizer. I don't know if I want that, said Mr. Bobbin. You'll see a big difference in that marrow in a day or two, said Harry. I can see the difference already, said Mr. Bobbin. Oh dear, said Gary. Well, I think this must be the super duper double deluxe weed killer. Oh ninny, said Harry. Look at my poor marrow, said Mr. Bobbin. Quick, Gary, said Mr. Dabble. We might save it yet. Go and get the proper tin. But, but, said Mr. Bobbin. It's a good thing we were here, Mr. Bobbin, said Harry. But it was your weed killer. Here's the, here's the, fer, here's the fertilizer, Dad, said Gary, panting. I don't think, said Mr. Bobbin. I don't trust your concoctions, said Mr. Bobbin. In 24 hours, that'll be a new marrow, said Harry. The vegetable shows this afternoon, said Mr. Bobbin grumpily. It's never worked as well as that before, said Harry. You're bound to win a prize with that, said Gary. My goodness! You're right, said Mr. Bobbin. But how on earth shall I get it to the show? Leave that to Dabble and Son, said Harry. Are you sure it's not too heavy for your van? asked Mr. Bobbin. I'm, uh, I'm a bit worried about the tyres, said Mr. Dabble. They look all right to me, said Mr. Bobbin. Jump on in, said Mr. Dabble, and we'll be off. It's, uh, it's going very smoothly, considering the weight, said Gary. But uh, shouldn't you turn left here? Oh, I'm trying to turn left, said Harry. There must be something wrong with his steering wheel. Whoa, 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 said Harry. Have you all fixed it, Dad? asked Gary. Fixed it? said Harry. Why don't you look out of your window? Mm -hmm. said Gary. Where's the road gone? The van's never flown before, said Harry. Must be something to do with that marrow. Go out and see, Gary. Rightio, Dad, said Gary. Uh -uh. said Gary. Oh. You'll have to get out, said Mr. Dabble. The only way for us to get down is to let some air out of the marrow. Y'all can puncture it with this. Oh, all right, said Gary. I suppose I'll have to. Oh well, I shall have to make do with entering my tomatoes, said Mr. Bobbin. Thank <laughs> you.